Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of TD101. In this episode, I will show you how to draw hexagons. Now, when drawing a hexagon, there are quite a few measurements that you can be given in order to draw the hexagon. They can tell you the length of one of the sides, and I'm referring to regular hexagons here. They can also tell you two measurements. One is referred to as the across corners, and the other is referred to as the across flats. Now, as you can see here, this is a vertex. This is another vertex. These vertices are opposite vertices to each other. Now, you can be given the distance of between these opposite vertices. This distance is known as the across corners. They can also give you the distance between two opposite sides. Now, these opposite sides are parallel and the distance between these two opposite sides are referred to as the across flats. Now, if you are given the length of one of the sides, you will use this method that I'm going to demonstrate first. You will treat it like an across corners and the distance for one of the side is equivalent to half the distance between the opposite corners. Now I'm going to draw a hexagon where one of the side will be equal to 40 millimeters. And I'm going to use the across corners method. Now, in using the across corners method, you are going to draw a circle. And this circle will be circumscribed around the, the hexagon and by circumscribed the circle will be drawn the hexagon will be drawn in the circle and the edges or the vertices of the hexagon will be touching on the circle now before i start or the first step rather in doing so is to establish the center of the hexagon which will be the center of the circle that I'm talking about. So I'm going to take my set square and draw a vertical line. And this line will be a center line. Now, when I'm drawing the center line, I'm using long strokes, short strokes, then long stroke, short stroke, long stroke, short stroke, long stroke, short stroke. Now, this is my vertical center line. I'll now proceed to draw the horizontal center line. Just a long stroke, short stroke, long stroke, short stroke, going across. Now, once I've done this, I will now take my compass and I will open the compass to half the measurement of the across corners. And please bear in mind that I said that the measurement for one side is equivalent to half the distance of the across corners. So since the across corners in this case would be 80, 40 would be the radius that I would use for the circle. And that would be the length of one side. So I'm opening my compass to 40 millimeters. I'm going to place it at the center where the lines intersect and I'm going to draw a circle. And I'm doing this using construction lines. Now, after I've drawn this circle, using the same radius, I am going to choose one of the corners. I'm going to choose this part. And I am going to, using the same radius, I'm going to swing. Let's call this point one. I'm going to swing using the same radius 
where the arc intersects the circle. That's another point. Let's call that point two. At point two, I'm going to swing an arc once more to form point three. Then this point, you don't have to swing an arc. You can call this point four. Then from point four, I'm going to swing another arc to get point five. Notice I'm not shifting the compass, I'm using the same radius, the 40 millimeters. And then I'm going to swing another arc to get from point five to get point six. Now, I have successfully constructed or determined all the points that will be used to draw the hexagon. Now I'm going to take my T-square to connect the two lowermost points. I'm also going to take my T-square to connect the two uppermost points points. Then I'm going to take my set square and the 36 set square is the best set square to be used for this application. I'm going to connect points 1 and 2, points 4 and 5. I'm going to turn it the other way to connect point 4 and point 3. I'm also going to take and connect point one and point six. Now I'm going to label this drawing and this drawing. This is a hexagon and I'm going to write one important information. So AC for this will be equal to 80 millimeters while I should have labeled these points as letters but anyways AB which is the length of one side since it's a regular polygon would be equal to 40 millimeters so that's how you draw a hexagon if you are given either the across corners measurement or the, the length of one side. Now let's proceed. Let's say you are given the length of the across corners, sorry, the across flats. You would proceed to, you would do the same thing by establishing your center and you're using construction lines Thin lines which long a long dash then a short dash alternately, meaning you repeat one then the other, one then the other. Then I'm going to take my compass and I'm going to open it. In this case, the across corners, sorry, the across flats rather, that measurement will be a hundred millimeters. So I'm going to open my compass to have that measurement. I think I want to change that measurement. I think I'm going to use the same 40 millimeters. So the across flats would be 80 millimeters. So I'm drawing the circle from the center point that I've established. Now, this is what I am going to do. I am going to take my T-square and I'm going to, using construction lines, I am going to draw a line at the bottom that is touching the circle, just touching the circle, and a line at the top that is just touching the circle. Now, I am going to take my set square and position it so that the 60 degree angle is um, being used. And I'm going to allow it to be tangential to the circle, meaning just touching it. And I'm going to draw this line here. So it's just touching the circle. And I'm going to do this exact thing at the opposite side. I'm going to flip the set square now. I'm going to turn it 
to do the exact thing here. Now I can go ahead and brighten since I know that this portion and this portion, I know where it starts and stops. Now you can flip back the set square and brighten. I'm going to use the T-square So for this hexagon that I've just drawn, I was given the across flats. So that is AF as the abbreviation. And that measurement is AT. So if you notice that there's a circle that is inscribed in the hexagon, and over here there's a circle that is circumscribed around the hexagon. So there you have it. I have just drawn two hexagons, two regular hexagons. One where you are given either the across corners or the length of one side. And the other, to the right, you are given the across flats. Please note that both hexagons are not the same size. As one, the circle is inscribed, the other, the circle is circumscribed this is circumscribed this is inscribed now i hope you guys benefited from this video please share this video like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content have a good day